Hey everybody, Ken Sears here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in and today we're going to have another shave for you. Today I'm going to be uh, following up. If you've been watching the channel, you know that like about maybe three or four weeks ago that it was the Surf City Meetup here in, uh, in Huntington Beach and uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements was here, Razor Emporium were here. Uh, a lot of people showed up. I actually shaved off my goatee with a uh, Rex Envoy. I think I've got it right up uh, there. And uh, some Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements soap. The soap I was supposed to use that day was the re-release of Lavender Planet. Uh, this uh, is backed by popular demand with a few improvements. So uh, I didn't get a chance to use, I forgot what happened, but I didn't use this. So today I'm going to be trying this out for the first time. And uh, it's made, yeah, it's got a nice strong lavender scent, but I believe they use six types of lavender in this. English lavender, French lavender. Uh, the list is uh, in the description of this video. You can kind of see that, but it's a very, very nice and it's a hard soap too. A very, very nice uh, lavender scent. And he's right in his description, Doug says that the ladies love lavender too. So they might steal your soap or they like when you're wearing the scent. So uh, try it at your own risk. Your wives or girlfriends might take it off of you <laughs> to use for themselves or uh, encourage you to keep using it. All right. So I'm gonna be using for the brush today, I've got my Restored, I did a video on this. This is my Restored Ever Ready C40. I'm gonna be using that. I'm putting it into the Crystal Skull. And this, a lot of people ask, where do you get the Crystal Skull? This is called a Crystal Skull Candle Holder. And around Halloween, I picked, I picked a few up many years ago at uh, Home Goods, but you can find these on eBay, on Amazon. It's called a Crystal Skull Candle Holder, and they're probably gonna be in the uh, stores now because Halloween is here. All right. A lot of new wet shavers uh, watch the channel, and there's not a lot of, there is a lot of new wet shavers that are uh, joining the art and the hobby and the rabbit hole of wet shaving. And some ask, hey, I've been using the new razors, but I want to start collecting some old vintage ones. How do they work? You know, what do you recommend? And unfortunately, because wet shaving is definitely taking a spike in interest, uh, good deals are, you know, they're still to be found, but they're not as easy as they were five years ago, say, on eBay. So I picked up this razor off eBay. This is a Gillette Flare Tip, twist open, and this is a B1. So I think it's 1956. And... I use this a lot. I've got an Astra blade in it. So this is a relatively inexpensive razor, a vintage razor to start with, but uh, man, they still shave good. Mine is losing a little bit of the plating on the guard there. It's okay that side. And that's probably my fault because I use these razors and I sometimes don't clean them quick enough and I leave the soap on there and they can cause tarnish it. But if you take good care of your stuff, Man, they're going to last forever. Well, this is 1956. This is, what, six years older than me. So uh, we're going to be using this today. All right. And uh, like I said, the aftershave. Uh, still sealed. Very nice lavender scent. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Let's get this shave started, shall we? Wet the face a little bit. Oh, and I'm growing out the goatee again because I've got another razor I'm going to be trying. I'm going to take that goatee right off. So, uh, in an upcoming video. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to mix the lather right here in the bowl. So this synthetic brush gets a little thirsty. Holds a lot of water. Some of you, and I've watched some of the YouTube channels, man, you guys got this down to an art. You make a like whipped cream uh, lather, which is you know, really good too. I can kind of get away with a thinner lather because I don't have a, 
particularly thick beard. I might as well paint the whole face, right? Dang. Almost too thick for the shaves that I do. <laughs> Very nice thickness. And this is the C6, CK6. And I believe this is a vegan formula. So uh, some of the vegans out there like vegan soap, my wife and daughter. Oh, it's, you, you set me up, Doug, to have that soap stolen from me by my uh, wife or daughter. All right. Let's try this out. Oh, nice feedback. The Aster blade isn't my go-to blade. I usually use the Wilkinson Sword Gillette, but you know, I've got to vary the blades because uh, Aster Green seems to be one of the most popular blades out there. And if you're just starting out, you know, you can find them very easily. On the net. Probably Amazon has them. I get my blades, uh, my Wilkinson Sword Gillettes off eBay. Takes a little while to get here from India, but uh, well worth the wait. A little bit aggressive, not too bad. Probably it feels to me a little more aggressive than my uh, 34G. But again, vintage twist to open. I was told uh, one of you were shopping that was an estate sale. And uh, you were at an estate sale, uh, the, the, the person told me, and uh, they were looking for razors. Didn't see any, but asked, hey, are there any razors? It just so happened that the uh, they had old razors in the bathroom drawer, and the guy brought them out, and the, the viewer uh, bought them. And I guess he got some really nice razors from the 60s at uh, like $4. <laughs> you know, nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Hey, my goatee grew back. A little whiter than usual. Very, very smooth shave. Very smooth shave. Don't even need a second pass. But as I said in my previous videos, I like hanging out with you guys. Let's do a second pass. We're having a extreme heat warning here in Southern California for the next uh, uh, next few days, I think five days, and unhealthy air. And to top it off, some of the beaches in Los Angeles are closed due to poor, uh, whatever, water quality. That must be up by Santa Monica, where the uh, water treatment plant is. Fun fact, when I was graduating college, all of these engineering companies were hiring. I graduated in December of 1960, 1960 1987, with a degree, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Transportation was my specialty. And everybody in those days were hiring. And I think it was the Hyperion water treatment plant in Santa Monica was hiring. And I applied and I got accepted. And then I got a, accepted with the California Department of Transportation. And I thought, do I want to work in the water treat, wastewater treatment plant every day? I, I've never worked in one, so maybe you guys have. I'm sure you come home with the scent of work on you. Possibly, depending on what part of the uh, 
plant you work in, right? I've been to some plants and I, I know how nice they smell. <laughs> Went to a big water treatment plant in Boise, Idaho, and man, that was kind of cool. At the end of the plant, you got to see the water going into the Snake River. Uh, drinkable. Millions and millions of gallons, uh, probably an hour, but that was interesting. And again, sidetracked on that conversation. Perfect. Let's rinse this off. So in the ear, behind the ear, and my scars are still hearing from healing from going to the dermatologist, getting some pre-cancer stuff burned off. Oh yeah, very good, very good. All right, let's try the uh, aftershave. This one's, they've got the, uh, sure doesn't pour out very quick. Shake it. Here we go. And I've got a burn on this side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there. There's alcohol in this, guys. Oh, a nice burn. Still got soap on my hand. Woo. All right. Well, there you have it. The Vintage Razors still work good after, what, 66 years? I'll rinse it off, let it dry. <laughs> then it won't get tarnished or corroded. I've got the uh, red tip here, and uh, the red tip is aggressive. The red flare tip, very aggressive, but a cool one to collect. That is for sure. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm at 29,960 viewers. I'm 40 away from 30,000. So I really appreciate you tuning in. I know there's a lot of channels out there. I really appreciate you subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again real soon with some new products to look at. All right, bye for now.